section that came up at 6%. The other interesting thing that came up was there had these two subgroups within economy that were state and state. And one of the states talked about banks, loans, debt, all these different things. And that was the second one. And the third one was mainly focused on bidders, charity, competence, expenses, market, monetary, money. And that came in third. So what they were doing, what they were talking about banks and everything, it came up in this document. So we can start showing a little of validity to what we're trying to do here. So just to give a quick recap, our regressive imagery, imagery dictionary is telling us that they're thinking like adults and that they're not thinking like children. And our political dictionary is now telling us that uh, they're talking about the economy and they're talking about the right things. They're talking about banks, they're talking about loans, they're talking about debt. Now here comes the scary shit. I put it into Luke. Luke is a very, very uh, intricate program that is able to really pick out different segments of speech and everything like that. And a couple things came up. Um, cognitive mechanisms, basically thinking, which goes back to our other analysis that says they were thinking. A um, couple, what came up next was affect. Affect is emotions. That was the second highest reading on the chart. So why are they talking about emotions in a methodological document? Emotions shouldn't even be a part of it. Um, when you break affect down, it comes out into positive and negative emotions. Negative emotions were twice the size of positive emotions. Basically, there's a lot of negative things that are said in that document. Not such a good sign. So, I just want to tell you a little bit about what's in it, negative emotions before I go on. Negative emotions such as lost, hell, hazard, mad, messy, um, pain... Uh, prejudice, protest, rage, sad, uh, skeptical, all these different types of things. Positive emotions range from care, cheer, chuckle, dear, uh, fond, joy, happy, uh, sentiment, sentimental, uh, worship, different things like this. This was completely absent from the document, which you would expect. However, you wouldn't expect all the negative emotion stuff in there. Also, both negative emotions, positive emotions, and affect, we'll talk more about the money. What's also concerning is that future statements were also lower than all those combined. So what can we gather from this? They're talking a lot about emotions. They're probably talking about a lot about projections. They're not really talking about what's going on, and they don't have a lot to say about the future of these results. The last thing, and this is really where I put my money. This is diction. They've actually created norms. So they have a high low, a high norm, and a low norm, which is great because you can really compare your analysis to these norms. So, a couple of things here. You would expect, like I said before, a document like this to be satisfied with their methodology, to say encouraging words. Well, this was below the norm. They didn't apparently feel very satisfied with their own methodology. Um, hardships. Uh, they did feel that, and that was much, much larger than the norms on the high end. Uh, accomplishment was right in between, so that is a good sign. Uh, they didn't have any human interest. What, what's really interesting, also, is that they have very large aspect of denial in their program. This was a big part. This was twice, uh, two times lower than the lowest norm. So there was a lot of denial words going on. Furthermore, when you take all of Diction's different categories of words and you run a couple formulas on them, you can get different indices. And these include variety, complexity, activity, optimism, certainty, realism, and commonality. Well, I'm just going to tell you the ones that were significant. Basically, they scored very low on variety. They scored uh, high on complexity, which you would expect. 
because it is a methodological document and that's what you would want to see. They scored low on optimism, which confirms what else we saw about low futuristic statements. Really, they don't know where this is going. And for the real kicker, they scored low on realism. So, when you look at everything that we have here and you talk about that they're thinking well, that they're doing it, they have too many affect words in there. They're not talking enough about the, uh, the accomplishments that they're doing. They don't feel good about their methodology. And the real kicker is, is that there is a lack of realism to their methodology. And as we said before, that the banks were submitted, the banks submitted projections. And I think that really ties in. And I think there's some validity, a little bit of validity to this uh, study here. And basically, whatever results would come out of this stress test, I wouldn't trust them. And I think we all already agree with that and know that. So, I want to thank you for taking the time out to listen to me. Um, if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to email me. I'd be happy to share more information. I hope this was helpful.